August 12, 2014, we're here at Linda Sauer's Art Retreat on her ranch in Idaho. And uh, I'm Patrick McCormack, and the two of us uh, have uh, combined our efforts to make these pieces. Uh, in the last five days, we've uh, made a huge concerted effort to, to see what creativity we could bring to bear in the age of fission. And, and with all that's facing us, and with the news coming out now, the smoking gun of what it is we're facing, all of us on this planet, especially those of us in the Northern Hemisphere in North America, and this is basically it. It's called fallout, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it's called. It's called the bird of death hovering over you. Sorry about that. But this is hard truth, hard reality, that we are trying to explicate viscerally so you feel it so you get it and Linda I think in this piece has really nailed it down hardcore so this is a brilliant piece here's another one by Linda which is phenomenal this is the blood moon and this is just the forces of fission running rampant as uh, as, as uh, Thomas Ackerman likes to say a lot this this dragon this reptile that's fucking eating us and I'm not pulling any punches with my language, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, that, those days are over. So, you know, we're in, the, we're in a different reality now. And here's one I did. This one's uh, actually uh, Linda named this one. This is uh, Lebanon. What did you call it? Blood over Lebanon. Blood over Lebanon. That's that one. And that's a Balco painting on Balco. And uh, this one as well. This one's got many different elements. We're in the environment, so we're using everything at hand. Man. to try and make the point, to try and show you what's going on. Because you can't quote unquote see it. This one's 3D, this one's got uh, plant life emerge, emerging and being uh, squashed, being squelched by the shit. And that's what that's all about. So what we're saying is, we're, we're, it's a new symbolism, what we've got here. It's the symbolism of reality. It's using the real to make our point. Life and, uh, is forever be changing. Life is forever changed. This is a Balco painting that the three of us did, Kevin Blanche, Linda Sauer, Patrick McCormack, and we did this on the uh, hillside just behind us over there, and it's got, it's a tomato soup expose, and it's also got the lid of the tomato soup in it, it's got a, it's also got a butterfly that came into it, that came into it, that wanted to be included, it, it was a, a combat between this and another insect, I think it was a dragonfly, and, the, and they basically waxed each, each other. other. They waxed each other. They whacked each other. And we're like, okay, well, you're in. You're in the painting. So why the fuck not? I mean, it's perfect, right? So here's some other ones. A lot of these are Linda's efforts um, no, just from the past. One uh, actually, this one. She's, she's <laughs> telling, coaching me on it as far as this one. And this, this one's uh, kind of dedicated to Dana, am I right? Dana Beautiful Dana Durf, Girl. Durfer. See Undone. See Undone for Dana. Pretty much a, an amazing... An amazing thing. Really emotional, that one. really like that one a lot. Very, the colors are intense. This one's awesome. awesome for Dana. And this one? That, yeah, we'll get to that one in a sec. And here's uh, one Linda did, and I finished, I adjusted it, and again, you know, I, there, I'm not even going to say what it symbolizes. Can you figure it out? I mean, you know, let, let's, let's fucking get with it, guys, ladies, gentlemen. And this is just arcing energy, arcing isotopes. That's what I'll call it. The arcing isotopes. You know, I don't know. Direct beam energy direct, on isotopes. Direct, <laughs> that's right. Directed energy isotopes. Uh, moxie up the assy. And this one's also for Dana. This one here is Linda. And it's the coastline, Dana. It's the coastline. It's, it's, it's your latest withering expose of what the fuck it is that we're dealing with. Thank you, Dana. And one more thing. And one more thing. <laughs> Uh, these paintings that we created here were painted with a railroad nail. There it is. And a piece of cedar bark. There that is. I painted these two paintings. With these objects. With these objects. No, br no brushes. No brushes involved. I don't on any of it. And we were just d talking about it. I don't think I used a brush the entire five days, and nor, did, did I. nor did she. Just to so, sign. I, we we squirted, we, we threw paint, we squirted, we've got, you know, these these indigenous rustic tools, which we utilized, and splashing, and then we've got this, which is our next, our next direction. We're going to do a series, and we, we've decided we love this.